Hello friends, welcome to Rajas Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain how to calculate number of records per partition in a data frame. This requirement is quite often seen across Spark development in data engineering related solutions. For this tutorial, I have logged in into Databricks environment and the cluster, my cluster is up and running. In order to start with this demo, I am creating raw data frame. So that is based on PAB names CSV. So I have uploaded one CSV file into Databricks file system that is PAB names. So we are creating data frame and at the end of this data frame creation, I am displaying that for your reference. Let me execute this step. Here you can see the data frame is created based on baby names. So it is containing columns, year, first name, county, sex, count. So I want to see the number of records in this data frame. It's not uh, based on a partition. So I want to see the number of records in this entire data frame. So for that, I'm using df.count. So let me execute this one. So this particular data frame is containing 52,252 records. Now, I want to see the number of partitions created for this particular data frame, not number of records per partition. I want to see number of partitions created for this data frame. So here in this case, it's a very simple CSV file. So Spark by default will create only one partition for this one. So anyway, I want to see that one. So in order to see the number of partitions, we have to use the syntax, the data frame name. In our case, it's df. Then the syntax is rdd.get number of partitions. So let me ex um, execute this one. So here we are having only one partition. So now I want to see the number of partitions, number of records per partition. So in order to develop this logic, first we have to import the library function that is Spark partition ID. This is part of PySpark.SQL function. So I'm importing this function in the first line. Once that is completed, now I am adding new column in our data frame DF. So the new column using with column and we can give any name. So in this case, I have given partition ID. Then I am going to use the function spark underscore partition underscore ID. Basically, this will uh, bring all the partition ID into this column. So in uh, spark, the partition ID would start from zero. Let's say if one particular data frame is containing only one partition, maybe in our case, in our case, this DF partition is containing only one data frame, which means the partition ID would be zero. And if there are 100 partitions in a data frame, then it would start 0 to 99. So in this case, I have created new column partition ID. Then I want to aggregate all the number of records per partition ID. So whatever the column I have created here, you know, based on that, I'm performing the aggregation group by. I want to see the count. So I'm using the function count of. At the end of this uh, um, calculation, I want to show the, show the result. So let me execute this one. So here you can see the partition ID. In this case, we have only one partition and partition ID would start from zero. So it's a zero and uh, the total number of records will get into this single partition. That is 52,252 records. Now, this is a simple use case, but I want to create one more data frame with a different number of partitions. So I'm going to use the same data frame, uh, base data frame that is TF, but I want to take help from the partition function to split uh, the partition into multiple parts. In this case, I'm going to create five different partitions, okay, based on our raw database, raw data frame. So let me execute this one. So the new data frame df underscore five got created with five partitions. So in order to ensure um, it, it has created five partitions, I am executing the function get number of partitions once again. So it will give five. Here you can see now the number of partitions is five for uh, data frame df underscore five. Now I want to see the number of records per partition. So I'm going to use the same logic that we have executed just above. Okay, so I'm creating a new column using with column partition ID. We can give any name here and uh, the function spark partition ID. Then I'm grouping based on the partition ID column and I want to see the count. So I'm using count. Then finally I'm displaying, I, I want to show the result. So here, if you notice, you know, in, in earlier step, we have imported the function, but here we haven't imported anything. Why? Because, you know, we have already imported that function already in this session. So once we can do, so that is valid for this entire session. That is the reason we don't need to import the function again and again. So it's a simple one-liner function. So let me execute. Here 
if you see you know, we have created five partitions so that is starting from zero then one two three four now there are five partitions and repartition is always creating uh, partitions evenly you know it is distributing the data across partitions evenly that is the reason we cannot see huge difference in the number of count we cannot see big variation it would be uh, almost you know same so this is uh, how we can calculate number of records per partitions in a data frame i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe this channel like and comment this video and don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.